So here's another good place to rest and observe the natural rhythm. down to the stream. Isn't that relaxing? There's a campsite right up that way. Yeah, of course there would be. water like this, you're going to have great dreams and sound sleep, deep sleep. It's just a beautiful day up here, and it's a real blessing to be out. In the wilderness. To enjoy this, and you need to make sure you do, once in a while, get out. Slow down and enjoy these, these gifts that are out there. That sky. Come on, get it without falling in the stream. Although that wouldn't feel so bad. <laughs> Can you hear the birds? There's so much life. So much life on the borders. You have the borders of the forest and the stream. The border of the water and the air. And there's life on those transitional borders. That's where life is. On the shore, between the land and the ocean, or between the land and a stream. Sometimes there's bald eagles. I've seen them out here, I've seen hawks. And I saw a wild chicken that looked pretty ornery. It would have to be to be living out here. Because it's foxes and coyotes. <laughs> like I said, bear. And so, <laughs> chicken. If a chicken's alive, he had a lot of missing feathers. But he looked like he had gone pretty much feral. So, you know, once they lived in the wild, probably still do in some places, they can adapt. Like we all can. One you know. See the difference? How dark the forest is? <laughs> From all the pine trees casting their shadows down. And then there's this beautiful breeze today. And you can hear that water, I hope. From a distance, it sounded like big waterfalls over this way. This is as far as I can get to see. Maybe down, maybe down that side of that stream, there might be more. 
Or it could just be this was echoing through the forest. There's some big stones over there. It's going pretty fast. It's kind of deep right here. I bet there's some good trout in there. There has to be. Oh yeah, they love those little rapids, those little rapids areas. They get wedged into some stones at the bottom and wait for lunch to come to them. <laughs> it's beautiful. So the wind going through the trees sets a song in your heart. And the birds playing and singing. Singing and are they showing off? I, I, sometimes I've seen birds show off. Definitely. Cat birds? Oh yeah. Big hams. Big hams of the bird world. Sometimes they're showing off trying to find a mate. Sometimes they, they they almost seem like they're they're just enjoying the beautiful day. Like I heard birds one time singing praises to God. I think that's what a lot of animals are doing. It's just part of their natural rhythm. And then one day, I swear they were saying, Hi Andrew, hi Andrew, come on. Enjoy our forest. <laughs> Enjoy our forest. And join us in giving great thanks to our Heavenly Papa. <laughs> they were saying, Andrew, ooh, 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 Andrew, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> come Andrew. Well, if you don't spend much time out here, you'll find that hard to believe. Well, hopefully I can get all these sort of strung together into one video. If I can't figure that much out, I'll definitely put some little videos out with these like 10 12 minute things that I've been doing. Some of them keep going and some of them start a new one. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to kind of figure that one out once I get home. I don't want to monkey around with it and lose all the ones, all the videos I made earlier. So, yeah, I don't want to lose the videos I made earlier. And if I keep repeating myself, it's just because I'm not sure if this really, once that this, my view screen goes out, I don't know if it's actually recording anymore. So, I'm going to go poke around in the woods some more, and if I see anything interesting, I'll switch back on quick. But, <laughs> this is Hiking Druid in the rainforest, also known as the wilderness in Northern Maine. Love you guys. God loves you. I mean, come on. So we have long winters. Doesn't this make it worthwhile? You get used to the flies. <laughs> Eat a lot of garlic before you come out. And they might come towards you. They might fly in your face, but they don't tend to bite you too much if they're smelling that, a little bit of garlic. So have a stir fry, throw in some garlic, or spaghetti sauce and go a little heavy on the garlic it's delicious and they don't seem to like it very much also don't use a lot of flowery soaps and shampoos wash with just natural stuff Herbalife has some really good not overdone fragranced shampoos um, and if you know you're going to go out to the woods, don't go out there smelling like those chemicals. That attracts mosquitoes like crazy. So anyway, have a great day. I might make one more. 
there's a bridge I might be able to get some really good shots of the stream there's a little uh, like a four-wheeler bridge that's, that's kind of dilapidated but they use it in with their uh, sleds or snowmobiles in the winter it's a, there's, a tr there's a trail that cuts out through the woods and goes down into town where they can you know get some provisions some food some gas and then keep going they can go all the way to Canada from here so anyway have a great day love you guys and God loves you so much talk to you soon